Hi, my name's Beth Carey and I'm an analytics consultant with Interworks based out of Melbourne in Australia. And I'm going to take you through my top five prep solve. Five things to get you out of a bunch of preparatory challenges and get your data ready for analysis in Tableau Desktop. So let's get going. The data set we're using today is complaints data. We have information from business unit A, which has some issues. So we have dates that aren't quite formatted as such and ratings that are one, two, three, rather than low, medium, high. And we wanna combine it with data from business unit B, which has some white space across the top, but otherwise is looking okay. We wanna make sure that we're creating some different concepts in here. The primary reason we're preparing our data is we wanna make a waterfall chart. We wanna be able to say how many cases did we have at the beginning of the month? How many have come in this month? How many have been completed or deferred in the month? And therefore, how many are we going into with next month? So there's going to be quite a few different calculations that we're creating along the way. Let's get moving. We start by dragging in business unit A. And the first thing that we're going to do is deal with that date calculation. So what we're going to do is use a make date function. Now, this make date function combines the three different components that we have, year, month, and date, into a single concept for date lodged. And there we have it. We also want to make sure that we deal with this rating. But before we do rating, let's get rid of those components we used for that calculation, just keeping it clean as we go through, removing those. Now we're going to use a lookup table to do our risk level. The reason we're using a lookup table to do risk level is really that I want to show you how this process works. We've only got three things here, so we could hard code them. But imagine that instead of having three things, you had 50 or they were subject to change. Maybe every month someone changes or maybe they add a new one in. So you want an approach that's able to be uh, scalable and that's also able to be adaptable when things change. So we've joined in from that risk, from that risk rating lookup table, and now we can get rid of those additional two fields. Great. Now this table looks pretty similar to business unit B. So we can drag that one in. Business unit B had some white space along the top. So let's just click the data interpreter to get rid of that white space. And now we can union them. Check out this data first before we union. Make sure it looks pretty good. Yep, that looks the way I wanted it to. And then let's drag it on. Key thing when you're creating tables, when you're joining things together, we're in either joins or unions, is that you want to make sure the structure is pretty similar before you go through that process. So bring in a table, do your cleaning bring in another table, do your cleaning. Then when they look similar, combine them. Some of these things are coming through a separate field, even though they're actually the same. So let's make sure that we're telling Tableau to treat them as the same, just by merging them. And then we can get rid of anything we don't need. I'm now gonna go through and create those additional calculations that I wanted. The first calculation that I wanted is that when I want to have an idea about what the beginning of the quarter actually is. So that I can say, did it exist before the quarter or has it come in since that date? So first we create that date, beginning of the quarter, date. And we're going to compare beginning of the quarter to date lodged. When we did our join or our union, sorry, date lodged came through as a string. Let's make sure it's formatted as a date. And now we can do that comparison. The first one we're going to do is that if the opening cases, so if date lodged is less than the beginning of the quarter, then one. Let's double check out. Double check what's going on here. Aha, I called it something slightly different. There we go, click save. And this has given me a null or a one for things depending on whether or not they meet that criteria. I'm going to create something that's actually pretty similar. So I'm just going to copy paste and use this one as a base. So we've got opening cases, and then we have new cases. So opening cases are ones that were there before the quarter began. New cases are ones that have come in since the quarter began. We're going to create another one now called deferred. And deferred is using a status that we already have. So if status equals deferred, then one. And then our last one is completed. Now you may be asking yourself, if we've already got status of completed, why are we creating it again? And the reason is that some things we need to be able to count twice. So we can have cases that both came in this month and were completed this month, 
and we need to be able to give them a number twice. So that's a little bit difficult unless we create it in this way. So now we're going to aggregate our results. We're going to keep our risk rating, drag in completed, deferred, new, and opening. And now we've got a nice simple summary that gives us for each risk rating, how many cases have we got. The last thing that we're going to do is create our last calculated field. And our last calculated field is how many are continuing, so continuing cases. Now, I'm going to make sure that I've got a ZN around each of these components. My reason for that is that I want to make sure that Tableau, if it encounters a null, as it's about to with deferred for low risk rating, it knows what to do with it. And specifically, no to just treat it as a zero. Otherwise, it's going to create an outcome of continuing cases equals null, just because one of them was a null. Our last step is to pivot this. So we're dragging in the four things we want pivoted. Let's rename. Make sure we've got status. And we also have cases. And I can use my last clean step to be able to check out that final result. And there we have it. We've used my top five things of aggregating, pivoting, dates, how to combine things from different tables and lookup tables to prepare this data ready for analysis and ready for our waterfall chart. I hope that was helpful. Thank you for joining me.